Hello Capricorn, welcome back to your monthly zodiac readings. I hope you guys had a wonderful November. And for those of you that celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you had a wonderful meal with family, loved ones, friends, neighbors, people that you just met and you invited them into your home uh, to share a good meal. I know Capricorn, you guys are always striving to be very financially stable. You're always giving. Thus the universe is always helping you receive and always enlarging your surroundings, your home, your finances, and the things that you love. You're very prosperous. Um, for this month, I'm going to be offering a couple of decks that I would like to raffle off because I want to give back something to you guys for your support, for your encouragement, for your constant comments, and the love that you guys are pouring out to me. So in order for you guys to be included in the draw, I would love it if you guys would check out my link below for my tarot blog and uh, take a look around there. I have, um, or I should have a link on the side that works that um, also allows you to befriend me on Facebook. So first of all, I'd like it if you guys would sign up for an email through my tarot blog in case I post something during the year, a couple of newsletters or such, or specials that I may offer, I will send it to you via your email. Then on my Facebook page, I would like you to like my page and also become my friend. In case I post things to my Facebook, you guys are um, always connected to me through my Facebook page. I would love that. Uh, those are the re re things that I will require. I have to rewind. For you guys to do in order to be part of my draw. I also would love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel, would uh, thumbs up my videos, like my page, share me on Google, and anything you could do to please get me out there. And also below the videos, comment and let me know that you would like to be included into the draw. I will probably pull for one of the decks this weekend on my weekly reading. So stay tuned for that. Also, if you would like a private reading with me, please check my links above. I'm also offering on my Tarot blog, when you click that link down there to sign up for my emails, I have a gift certificate link on there. So if you click that, it'll take you to a page that I have made that has the different um, specials and promotions that I am offering this month for my viewers and the people that I love. So check that out if you're interested. There's also a link there for um, a special that I'm offering on my paintings. What that is, is prints of any of the artwork that I already have. So you might want to check out my link that's usually below my videos for my art site and look around there and see if there's something that you like. I'll, I'll offer a print that I'm going to personalize and send to whoever it is that you want it sent to. And I am covering the cost of, of the um, shipping and also the cost of the uh, gift certificate. So any questions on that, I'll be paying that in for you. So don't worry about that. Also, if you are so inclined, you may also want to listen to your rising sign and your moon sign after you listen to your sun sign. Because sometimes you may resonate with some of the other uh, videos as well. Because... Our personalities are comprised of all of the signs and especially the sign that is rising on the horizon when you're born is how people see you, how they perceive you, what you send out and also your moon sign which speaks of your desires, your deepest desires and your moods because the moon changes us every time it moves from sign to sign. It expresses your moods, your rising sign who you put out to the world and your sun sign who you specially are to the world, so uh, where your gifts lie. So if you listen to all three, it'll give you a rounded uh, reading, and it'll be more like a complete reading when you listen to all of the videos. All right, guys, I'm going to start saying that because it is true, and up to now I haven't mentioned that, and eventually I'm going to get a link underneath my video so that you guys can click it and find out what your rising sign and your moon signs are if you don't already know. All right, without further ado, I think I've remembered to say everything this time. All right, let's get to the reading. I'm going to be using, for your monthly readings this time, the Lover's Path Tarot for the regular tarot advice. 
Then I'm going to pull one card for the Archangels Oracle deck. And as always, a card from the Romance Angel deck. And I've already pulled the cards. I've already meditated on your particular sign. And it looks like everything is revolving around love this month for you guys. For some of you, the middle card or the middle of the month is all about choices. You're going to have many, many choices, many daydreams. You're not going to know which way to go. Lots of people are pulling you one way or the other. You're, you're being distracted by many things that are coming up for you this month. I just... I wanted to touch upon that first because the first card that you get for the beginning of the month, you're going to be feeling a really big pull towards someone. You're getting the lover's card. And in this deck, it's Isis and Osiris. And you know that their love was eternal, is eternal. So it speaks to me of past life connections, of eternal love, of twin flames, of someone very special coming into your life if they are not already there. If you're already in a relationship with someone, this person could be a very significant soulmate, if not your twin flame, because it speaks of someone that you've had a very huge tie that comes from other lifetimes, that comes from the past, one type of love that just will not die, not through time, space, or separation, because you keep pulling yourselves together, and at the moment, I'm feeling this great big pull from behind. It's like I'm being tugged myself from an invisible cord that ties me to the past, to people that I have known, to loves that I have felt. So that is what this is all about for you guys this month. It's about love. It's about a special type of love. If you're with your significant other, you're already in a relationship with this person, you need to treasure them for who they are. Because this month you might be tempted. Someone else might step in. You may feel a pull from other soulmates or other uh, people that might come into your life and you might think, oh, that person's cute. I might want to go in that direction. But you need to know that your soulmate that you're with is very important to your life. And you may just ruin things with them if you step out. So you, you have to be careful. If you guys are single and looking, you might actually run into a soulmate or a twin flame. And because of this other card, the Seven of Cups being next to it in the middle of the month, everything is revolving around that you may have several people that come into your life at the same time and you're not going to know which direction to go and you're going to be daydreaming about past loves about future loves about what you would like in your life you're going to have several people that come to you whether they're males females both whatever it is that you are um, into in your life you know there's no sexual orientation with these cards but you're going to have more than one choice. So you're going to have to choose from the heart. Some paths are exactly what you've wanted. One person may um, bring to you the home that you've always wanted. Another person, the financial security you've always wanted. The riches that you may have desired at some point in your life. Another person may bring you spirituality that you have also desired. And another person may bring you something very carnal, very um, of the lower vibrations that you may not want. And other choices might be perfect for you, the one that you've been waiting for. But it's going to be tricky this month, so you need to kind of slow down. Realize which of the thoughts that you're experiencing at the moment are just pipe dreams that are not going to lead anywhere. This is whether you're in a relationship or not. You need to kind of center yourself and realize what is real in your relationship, what you can actually achieve with the person that you are in the situation that you are now. For those of you that are meeting someone now or have met several people, you need to get to know these people before you become entangled with them because while you're over here checking Joe, Johnny might be your soulmate or your twin flame. And you've got your face turned this way looking at one guy while your twin flame is walking past you on beside you because you're focusing on the wrong end of the spectrum. So you need to be careful of who you let grab your attention this month because someone special is coming. So you need to check everyone out. Get to know everyone slowly slowly and don't keep all your attention on one 
person or in one situation when there could be several that are just as good or just as bad and you need to you need to discern which is the best situation for you there is going to be some special love that comes to you this is also the card of the psychic the card of being connected psychically of through dreams perhaps your soulmate is already coming to you so you already feel the pull the tug they talk to you in dreams you're getting visions or perhaps you're just you got this feeling that something really really significant is coming and yes it is okay it's the feeling that i'm getting it's the back of my neck the hair is raising because i'm speaking something that is going to resonate with somebody that's listening to this video a lot what they are advising is that you need to be very very strong for those of you that are in a relationship you are with your soulmate already if you're having situations where you're daydreaming about other people or other people are coming into your life you need to be careful because you can lose your soulmate your twin flame you need to be strong you need to pull strength from within because if you're having a moment of weakness, they're advising that you need to pull strength. Because at this moment, you're going to need it. Because someone from the past as well might entice you. And if you go in that direction, you will you will um, run into some problems. And you may lose the twin flame that you were already with. Or the soulmate that's very important that you're with now. And later on, you're going to regret it. Because of the pipe dreams. Because of the fantasies that this card will bring you. Okay, you're seeing things in the darkness that the moon is also associated in my mind to this card to the seven of cups It's very illusionistic you're you're in an illusion you're in a in a daze you're you're dreaming of all these fantasies of all these people that you want to be with that you want to get to know that you want to have a life with but only one path is real only one of those people that you're daydreaming of is going to lead you somewhere so you need to slow down and look within and work on yourself so that all these fantasies kind of dissipate and you can zero in on the one direction that you do need to go in and be strong about it because you need to pull the strength from within at the moment if you're single the same thing applies to you to both whether you're in a relationship or whether you're single at this moment you're going to have a lot of fantasies going on in your mind and you need to be strong you need to center yourself you need to ground yourself right now because you have uh, many things flying around in your head and they're not all real and they don't lead to God they don't all lead down to the correct road so one of them does the rest of them are just fantasies or they lead to roads that will later close down on you and you'll regret if you're in a relationship having left the one soulmate you were with for the new one that you just met because sometimes it doesn't work out sometimes the soulmates that come into your life that have the biggest pull are karmic soulmates because it's karma that you have from a past life that you need to work through and sometimes we can't help it we have to do it so we will leave the other uh, soulmate in order to hook up with this karmic soulmate that only lasts a month or a week or two days or five seconds but at that point you have already closed the door with the other person or they closed the door on you because the pain that you caused them is way too great and you can't go back so then you have to realize or you have to really think about what you're going to do because you can mess things up with your soulmate, okay? Over one that is just there to destroy your relationship, to end it because it's karmic debt that they you owe them from another lifetime or what have you. Just something that you're going to go through with this person and then it's over. Then they leave. As soon as they come into your life, they're gone because it's just a debt so be really careful as how you navigate through this month because we're gonna have parties we're gonna have invitations you may meet new people and one of them might blow you away just be strong and remember your soulmate does love you okay and they would do it for you so you need to pay it back for those of you that are single you may have a fire sign that comes into your life because strength represents Leo and it's all fiery. The sun will be shining over this person like a big-ass beacon. Okay? So you're going to go, oh my God, where did you come from? That's what's going to happen. The soulmate is going to pull you like a, like a rope. And you're going to go, oh my God. The person I have been dreaming of has finally arrived. So for some of you, it's a s serious relationship. It's a soulmate that comes from the past. 
It's going to be very strong. This is also the card of lust. So you're going to feel very lustful over this person. This person is really going to have a big pull on you. The lust is going to be incredible. The, the chemistry between you will be incredible. And, you know, good luck to you, Capricorn. <laughs> the romance angels are advising you to get to know this person. To get to know all the people, because you're going to meet more than one this month. Get to know them all. See which one resonates with you the best, okay? And that's the direction you should go in, because that'll be the one that pulls you the most, okay? There's going to be one that's going to really attract you, all right? And that, you need, even if you have to wait for this person, because they're busy, they're working, they're studying, whatever the case may be, you might want to wait for the one that's the hardest to get, because that would be the one... <laughs> That's the one where the gold lies, the one that, that is the best for you. So you have to be really strong and make the right decision, okay? As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. So for those of you that have already met a few people, get to know them and see which one is resonating with you the most and which one feels like a bigger bond, a better bond, something that you could work with later on in the future. And then kind of go in that direction and be strong don't go out with these people right away and do all kinds of crazy stuff just because the pull is great and the lust is wonderful and the chemistry is like you know you can't control yourself control yourself be strong because you need to do that in order to catch the bigger fish you have got to be in control of yourself all right you seem too easy or too crazy and you'll end up losing this person so don't do that the angels are advising you to clear your space Archangel Jophiel, get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, and use feng shui. Feng shui to um, set things in your home, in your room, just the right way to be inviting and attractive to a new soulmate. Also clear your space, make room in your closet for this new person, make room in your drawers for this new person, set a plate on the table for this new person, because it's the energy, it's the thought it's that energy that you're putting into all this hard work that you're doing all this toiling to allow this person into your life to make room for this person in your heart and everywhere else that you are that brings them quicker okay capricorn i hope you have enjoyed my um wonderful reading for you i'm jealous i don't think sagittarius got such a good reading so congratulations capricorn have a wonderful December. I wish you a very merry, merry Christmas. I'll talk to you again next year. And um, stay tuned for the rest of the videos that I'll be putting out this month. And know that I'm sending you lots of love from my heart to yours. Big hug and a kiss. And uh, I love you guys. Have fun. Bye for now.